Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a huge drugstore haul for you guys. I've literally got three massive bags here and then a huge bag down here as well. If you guys didn't know, I think it was like Walgreens bought out like Rite Aid's pharmacy and then like somebody bought out Rite Aid. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but anywhere that there is a Rite Aid like in the same area that there is a Walgreens, they're closing that one down. And I actually have three Rite Aids around me. Well, one's like 30 minutes away and then another one's like 35 minutes away and then the other one's like 15 minutes away. So the two farthest ones, they are closing away from me, so I did go there just to pick up some stuff because they did say they were having a clearance sale, which everything was 50% off. Um, some of the stuff wasn't 50% off that I got in my other Rite Aid, but I'm just throwing it in here. So yeah, I am going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the stuff that was not on sale at the other Rite Aid, and this is from Kiss. Kiss recently started coming out with, I feel like, more lashes, um, and now they're coming out with makeup products. So this is the Kiss Pro Touch Mattifying primer. This is supposed to be paraben free and oil free. Now like I said I haven't tried out any of this stuff yet. I might do like a full face of first impressions because I literally got I feel like enough stuff now to do a full face of first impressions but I am excited to give this primer a try. I will be honest most drugstore primers can kind of tend to like I said make me break out. My skin can be sensitive to them but ooh okay so this is like a thick one. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. But it's like, um, it kind of reminds me of like that Becca Ever Matte Primer. It's like really thick. And that one's really mattifying. So, ooh, yeah. Okay, so this one's kind of got like that sticky kind of tackiness to it. But I'm excited to see how well that works because I've yet to find a drugstore primer that I really like. And then I picked up some more products from them. So this is their um, Halo Strobing Palette. And I ended up getting the shade Medium. That was the only one that was in stock. And like I said, I am just really excited for these. This is just the out pack outside packaging of it and it does have more of a like light champagne shade and we've got like a yellowy gold here and then a bronzy shade. I'm going to swatch these for you guys. Okay so these are kind of powdery. Not super pigmented especially that lightest shade. It's not very dark. Oh and these have got like a a shift to them. It's almost like they've like that first one has like a very like purpley shift to them. Again, they're not very pigmented. You guys can see even right there. and They're quite powdery. Well, that sucks. I'm still going to try this on my face. Like I said, I could do a full face of first impressions. Um, and then this is their Ombre Radiance Palette, and I got the shade Grenadine. And it's kind of supposed to be like a highlighter, a blush, and then a bronzer. I don't know if you guys remember. I feel like the first company I remember coming out with something similar to it, like similar to this, was It Cosmetics. And I felt like nobody really seemed to like it. But then, like, there was another high-end brand that came out with something like this, and everybody loved. But I'm just gonna kind of swatch the. Okay. I'm swatching just like the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. This was a little bit smooth, a little bit more pigmented as well. But they still kind of got that kind of like powdery finish to it, which I, I don't love, but like I said, it might be okay. Again, this is the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. Just keep looking over here because I hope you guys can see those, but they're not showing up very well on my skin tone right now. All right, now I picked up some Batiste dry shampoo, and again, this was at not on sale, but this, I love this. It's my favorite dry shampoo. I did go darker with my hair. Not too much darker, but this works, I feel like, when I have more dark brown hair like I've got now, and then I feel like it works when I've got more of like a medium brown hair, which is like my natural hair color. I love this. I've yet to find, I feel like, a dry shampoo that I feel like really, really soaks up the oil. This can make your hair feel quite dirty, especially if you use it for several days in a row like I do, but I don't wash my hair every single day, but I love this. I mean, I've tried like the Living Proof ones, I've tried the Dry Bar ones, and I just always seem to go back to Batiste. It's affordable, and of course I picked up two because like I said, I was almost out. And now the rest of this was everything from the other two stores. So I picked up two toothpastes, the Sensodyne one, and I have to use Sensodyne. It seems to be the only, I feel like, toothpaste that doesn't like cause my teeth to get sensitive. If I will like use Crest and Colgate for like three days, my teeth are sensitive to like cold water, to ice cream, to anything. I have super sensitive teeth and Sensodyne is really the only brand that I like. So since it was like 50% off, I decided to pick up two. And then I picked up this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, I actually tried the um, the towelettes that they have that kind of look like this, except they're for your face. And I really, really like those. I know some people don't like the micellar waters, but I actually like them for several reasons. I actually like them to, I find that they're a little bit more gentle at removing swatches on my hand. I'll take like a cotton round, which I know I got some of those somewhere, but and I'll just remove swatches or I'll use them just to kind of like clean up any fallout or anything if I've done my eyes first. 
I don't like them for removing my actual makeup or cleansing my actual skin on its own because I have oily skin and my cellar waters just don't do it for me. But I do like to have them because, like I said, I do find that they work a lot more gentle than taking like a makeup remover on my arm. All right, so oh, this okay, this was not 50% off either because this was from. Um, one of my rides at Staying. This is the new Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. And I really love Wet n Wild's highlighters. So, this one's pretty. It doesn't seem to be as pigmented, I feel like, as their other ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's just like a little bit hint of a glow, but I really like their formula. Other highlighters, and they're really nice and they're smooth. Alright, then I got a L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. This was like. You guys remember these when like everybody loved these? I got the shade Midnight Blue because everyone's been like that whole wearing that whole blue thing since that like was it Kim Kardashian started that? And oh my gosh, like these are so amazing. I don't know why nobody talks about these anymore because I feel like these are amazing. They're very like give you that foiled kind of like wet look. Oh my gosh, yeah, these are gorgeous. Can you guys see that blue? Like look over in the viewfinder, it's like so vibrant. I love it. And then I picked up two lip liners from Revlon. No, I'm sorry. This is from Rimmel. I haven't tried a roll from Rimmel that I like. So I picked up two lip liners, like I said, in the shade Ravish, which is more of a... Ooh, I really like the packaging um, to this one. It kind of has got like a, like a little rounded tip, if you guys can see. And, okay, really, really creamy. So that's nice. That's a shade there. And then, like I said, if you guys want to see like any of this stuff in actual, like... Like trying it on, stuff like that. I can do a full face first impressions because I got a ton of other stuff that I'll show you guys that I did in like an Ulta haul. And then this one's the shade Tiramisu. Okay, and this one's a pencil one. I thought that they were, oh, okay. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this one's creamy as well. Not as creamy as that one, but it's a little bit more of a nude shade. I really, really love this. I can definitely see myself wearing that one. And then lastly from this bag, I got the Garnier Skin Active Balancing 3-in-1 Moisturizer for Day, Night, and Mask. Okay, so this is a vegan formula. I actually thought that this was a moisturizer. Okay, so you can use it as a moisturizer in the daytime or the nighttime, or you can use it as a mask. So, yeah. I'm excited to try this like, this out as well, so I don't know. I'm going to get this open. I always say this, but I really need to go through and like open everything before I sit down and do a haul. So, ooh, okay, this looks thick. Can you guys see that? It doesn't have too much of a smell. It smells a little bit like aloe vera, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like that, but we'll give it a try. All right, moving on. I picked up some of the Daylogic Work Your Angles Wedge Sponges. These are kind of just like Rite Aid's like brand, like their duped brand, I believe. And I actually really like these wedges. I like these if I'm like doing makeup on somebody else because I will not use one of my sponges on somebody else, even if it's clean, because those things hold so much bacteria. You should watch some of the videos on YouTube. It's really gross. But I only have like seven of these left. I need to pick up another one. But yeah, these are really good, like I said, just to kind of like cut the contour, bake, to really apply a lot of cream products as well as what I like to use these for. But I like these. Just need some more, so it's just like, why not pick it up? And then I picked up my favorite hairspray ever. This is the Sebastian Shaper Plus. Sharp, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Shaper Plus. And I really like this. The only thing is, I'm going to show you guys, this nozzle on here gets stopped up really easy. I'd say I probably get about seven uses out of this before this stops up and it's like I cannot use it and I'm always trying to switch the nozzle out. The best thing that I found to do with this is to take a Q-tip after you've used it and kind of just clean that little nozzle right there and that keeps it from doing it. But what I like about this is it gives me that very like touchable hair. Like I can spray this and spray this and spray this, but it still gives me like that touchable soft feel to my hair. It doesn't give that hard or crunchy feeling. I have super, super straight hair. So like usually when I curl my hair, even using that, like by the end of the day, it's pretty much straight again, but it's like one of the only ones I've ever used that I feel like actually holds it a lot longer than all the other ones. So I definitely recommend if you have like really straight hair or hair that doesn't want to hold a curl. And then this is the Burt's Bees. These are the new overnight intense lip treatments and lip scrubs. So I actually, like I said, they, they did have some Burt's Bees stuff in there. So I'm guessing these are still new. But this is a lip scrub. And this one I like because it's not just a scrub. Like it's got those honey, I've already swatched this one. But it's got like those honey crystals in it. But it's also still kind of got the like conditioning oil in it. Like I'm not someone that loves like the little like crystals that you can get that that's all that it is um I, I like those i think they do a good like good job exfoliating it but i like these better that's got a little bit of moisture in it and then i got the lip tr overnight lip treatment which i'm really excited to try because 
This looks amazing, and I have the world's driest lips. I don't know why. I've got, like, seriously oily skin, but my under eye area and my lips are always so dry. But, yeah, so excited to try those out. And then, oh, I did get, I forgot as well. So, I did get this. This is a physician's formula. Smudge proof. Um, brow last long wearing brow gel in the shade dark brown now this is new they did have some stuff that was new there and let's see basically on here it's showing that you just kind of take the wand side or the pencil side and fill in your brows and then you just spoolie it through with the spoolie so I'm always like I said down to try out some new brow, brow products but I just got like a little spoolie right here and I'm guessing that Okay, yes, yeah, so this is already in the product. Ooh. Okay, so this is like very liquidy. All right, again, might say that for a full face of first impressions, but the idea is cute, so I'm hoping that it worked. I thought it was gonna be more of like a pomade consistency, but. All right, and then last from Physicians Formula, this is the All-in-One Custom Nude Palette. This is a shimmer strip in the shade Natural Nude. Now, um, I watched, I can't remember who it was that always talks about this. Is it Taylor? That's Taylor. I believe that's Taylor. I can't exactly remember, but I'll link her channel down below too because I really like her. But she has raved about this for forever. She talks about how it's like her favorite I ha I ha highlighter for the face and everything. And it is really nice because it's just got, like I said, different like sh like shimmer strips in it. You've got more of like what I'd say would work on fair skin, then more like light skin, medium skin, and deep skin. I'm just going to kind of swatch the top row and, ooh, okay. They feel very buttery. I just watched the top and the third row, and we'll just kind of see. All right, so yeah, the formula is very smooth, very buttery. Like I said, that's just the top row right there, and then this was the bottom row. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this out on my face, because like I said, she always says amazing things about this, so I'm excited to see how it works. And then I picked up the Almay Clear Complexion Makeup, the Make Yourself Clear in the shade 200 buff. Unfortunately, I've already swatched this and this is too light for me at the moment, but I'm going to keep this and try it out um, like in the fall or something because you couldn't take any of this stuff back. And then lastly from Physicians Formula, I forgot this. I picked up one of their butter blushes in the shade Rosy Pink. I love their butter blushes. I love their whole butter line. Like I don't have the, I've never had the best of luck with makeup from Physicians Formula, but the butter line I love. And I've got the shade Plum Rose, I believe, and Everglow or something. But this is just like a pink shade and oh, these feel so good. They feel like butter. They're so nice. Ooh, so that's really pretty as well. It might be a little bit light for me, I feel like, right now at this, like, very moment, but gorgeous, and I love the formula. All right, so I did get some of these, like, little hair scrunchies. I didn't really need these, but I got them anyways. And then I got, picked up another color swapper. Um, I don't know how often you're supposed to replace these, because I've had the same one for probably a year now, so I decided just to get another one to try this one out. Again, it's that Daylogic brand. All you do is, like, take a brush, like a brush that you use, and you just swirl it in here, and it just kind of, like, takes the color off of it, so you can use that same brush if you're wanting to go in with a different color. I really like these. I find that they're quite handy. And then I picked up the rest of stuff. It's from the brand called Prestige Cosmetics, I believe. This isn't their, let's see, this is their shadow stick in the shade Sand of Frost. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but like, I th I'm thinking it was NARS, but like back in high school, like I got one of those shadow sticks for like my birthday and I would just take it, like the whole thing, like it's a chubby stick like this. And I would just put it all over my eyelid and then just blend it out like into my crease and everything. And this just gives me like the most wet look. Okay, yeah, these are a little bit different. This is a little bit more like powdery. The one I had was a little bit more like a cream shade, but this is more like a powder. And the other one you could just blend out and I felt like my eyelids looked so wet. They looked so good. But this isn't exactly what I was hoping it would be. But yeah, this is definitely more of a powder. Yeah, probably, I don't know, I don't like that. All right, and then I picked up a couple more brow products as well because I've been using my Cabral now for, I think, over a year, and it's time to try something different. So this is the Prestige Ultimate Brow Definer. Again, it's just like a pencil, um, and I got the shade, I believe, dark brown, or, to no, actually, I got the shade, I don't know why I got the shade toffee. This looks, like, awfully dark to be a toffee shade. All right, so it is just, like, a little retractable one. Okay, this has kind of got the same, like, little packaging as the um, Rimmel liner that I had. Ooh, okay, it's very creamy though. I, I really believe that that color's gonna work as well. If you guys can see that, that's the color. It might be just a little bit, oh, I ain't gonna focus, is it? 
there we go. It might be just like a little bit too light for me now, but I feel like if I go lighter with my hair, then that'll be fine. And then I got two of their brow pencils, but this one I didn't realize was open. And of course, like I said, I can't take it back. So this one's too light for me anyways. This is like one of those pens. And this one is in the shade taupe, I believe. And I'll just show you guys the swatches in case you're wanting to. Yeah, like I said, this one's way too light. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it on my skin or not. And this, yeah, why is this not focusing today? It's like having, yeah, you can barely see it. But I did get one of those in the shade dark brown. I have no idea where my camera cut off, but I was talking about the shade right here. I got another one of those long lasting brow shaper pins by that Prestige brand and this spray dark brunette. And they just have like a little felt tip and it makes it really easy to get those brow like strokes, at least from what I've seen. So we're gonna try. This one's a little flimsy, but I also feel like this color, to be honest, looks a little bit light for me. But that right there is just the shade dark brown. Oh, all right, on to the third bag. So I picked up some of the Purina Beyond Natural Dog Snacks. They're all natural, grain-free. They're jerky strips. It says that they're made with chicken and carrots. Chicken's the number one ingredient. No coin, wheat, or soy. No poultry byproduct meal. No added artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So I just got these. Again, did I necessarily need any? No, because I've got a whole cabinet full of dog treats, but I can't, I can't help it, so picked up another one and then I picked up this Dogtown combo brush it says it's perfect for all coats and I actually really like brushes like this for Xena because she's got really short hair and then Abby's got really long hair so this is nice my favorite type of brush though for Abby I got from PetSmart you brush them and when you get all that hair like in here you press the button and like the the bristles go back and the hair just pulls out really easy. It was very expensive, but I've had it now for like two years and the handle's starting to actually break. So again, it was 50% off, so I just picked up that one. And then I did get some of these cookies. So I've already eaten two. So I got two Snickerdoodle and two peanut butter, but like I said, I've already eaten two of them. And these cookies are the Lenny and Larry, the complete cookie. They've got 16 grams of protein. It's got eight grams of fiber, no eggs, dairy, no soy, no GMO, and they're vegan. So. If you're looking for, I feel like between these two, this tastes more like an actual snickerdoodle cookie, whereas this one I feel like kind of just tastes like bland with just chunks of peanuts in it. They're not my favorite, but I feel like they're better than if I was to go and like get an actual peanut butter cookie that size, you know? So if you're looking for like something that's a vegan option that tastes really, really good, as a vegan, like a peanut butter cookie, I don't know if I would lean towards those, but I do eat them quite often. I, there's something about the texture. They're kind of like really soft. I don't know. I really, I said, I don't like the taste, but I like the texture. And then I picked up two of these and I've already given one of my mom's. This is the JNR Watkins Shea Butter Hand Cream. This is in the scent Lemon Cream. This is like my mom's favorite, favorite hand cream ever. She absolutely loves this scent and it smells just like lemon meringue pie. And when I seen this, I knew I had to pick her up one. So I picked me up one as well because it literally does smell like that, like lemon meringue pie. I mean, it like smells good enough for like to eat it. And then I picked up a couple things from Biore. I picked up their um, Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. Um, I've heard really good lines about, uh, really good things about the Biore um, ac acne cleansing line. And then I picked up the baking soda one. So excited to try both these out. My skin right now though is relatively clear. What I've pretty much really got left now is acne scarring and of course there's a couple of hormonal breakouts that come up on my chin um you know at that time of the month but one more bag and this literally had to be the biggest bag <laughs> i picked up just some cotton rounds i actually really like these i have a little well i have a little jar over here on my desk and i like these two like clean away mascara that i might have gotten up here to sharpen up my um eyeliner to help smudge eyeshadow on my lower lash line i just pretty much use these for everything and then i picked up all of these l'oreal masks oops the, um, what are these called? Like their clay mask. I got the clear and comfort one. I think there was four, but the other one was like hydrating and I definitely don't need anything hydrating, especially this time of the year. And then there's this one that fell out of the box. This is the red clay one, I believe. The exfoliate and refined pores one. And then we got the detox and brighten one, which is made of charcoal. I'm excited to try all these out. Like I said, I'm a little bit skeptical about putting new stuff into my skincare routine since what I have has cleared up my skin and is working so well for me. But I kind of feel like my skin is getting to the point where it's like used to those products and it's ready to kind of be like switched up. So, all right, now I actually picked up one of my all time favorite body washes. This is the Soft Soap Body Butter Shea and Almond Oil Moisturizing and Body Wash. This is super affordable. This like tube of stuff is just like three or four dollars like regularly. And I love this. So, I like a moisturizing body wash when I'm in the shower, but when I get out, 
I don't want that thick feeling on my skin or like that sticky feeling on my skin, which I feel like a lot of like high-end body washes or more expensive body washes do. And I get that that's it being moisturizing, but this I feel like gives me enough moisture while I'm in the bathroom or in the shower, but it doesn't like it doesn't, but when I get out, it doesn't give that weird feel to the skin. Yes, it's not as moisturizing as the other ones, but if you're someone that doesn't, you want something moisturized in the shower that doesn't like strip your skin and make you feel like squeaky clean, literally, then this is a really good one. And again, it's um, a little more on the affordable side. And then I picked up the Tea Tree, or the, I'm sorry, yeah, no, the Tree Hut Bare Moisturizing Shave Oil. I actually like the EOS Shave Balm. It doesn't lather up or anything, and you just need a little bit, um, and it, like it's not like I feel like when you shave at first you don't think it's gonna give you the smoothest shave but it does and it really keeps that moisture locked into your legs I really really like that one but I decided to try out the oil this time like I said just because and then I picked up some of these simple micellar um, makeup removing towelettes these are some of my favorite makeup removers and again I just went ahead they had a pack of two sorry guys I don't know what it is with all these telemarketers getting where they got my cell phone number now but it's just like I get 10 calls a day from them and it annoys me Anyways, I was talking about shampoo. I use the Nexus shampoo on my hair, the color treat, like the color care system one. I use that shampoo and that conditioner, and it does a really good job at holding like the vibrancy of the color, and I feel like it really makes my color last a lot longer. However, it is like doesn't do nothing for I feel like actually cleaning my scalp. I feel like when I go several days, like four days, I've got a ton of dry shampoo. I have to wash my hair like five times with that shampoo to get my scalp where it's clean. So I decided to try out two other ones. I picked up the Redken Color Extend Magnetic Shampoo and I've actually tried this before and I did like it but I didn't feel like my color lasted as long with this and I'm wondering if it's because this one isn't like sulfate free. But this one is, this is the Coppola, C-O-P-P-O-L-A, I have no idea, the Keratin Complex Smoothing Therapy um, Color Care Shampoo. This is sodium chloride free and sulfate free. So again, I just can't wait to try those out. And then I just picked up my Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Deodorant. This is unscented. I find that it doesn't cause any bumps or anything. If you've tried this and like you've tried their like scented ones and you feel like it's kind of breaking your arms out, try the unscented one because it does a really good job. Alright guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Like I said, I know I got a lot of stuff and I feel like I might have run through this, but like I said, I know this video is probably going to be around 30 minutes long. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see any of these products, like a more in-depth review or anything like that, just let me know and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!